Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Saggy. First up, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Two of Wands reversed. And next, we have Major Arcana the Hermit in the reverse, followed then by the Queen of Cups upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Justice card in the upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, uh, Sagittarius, you have that of the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, the Knight of Pentacles is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is um, Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, it could be for some of you. This earth sign or any sign is bringing in an offer. Knights always bring in some kind of offer. For some of you, this could be an offer. If you have, say for example, anything up for sale, your car, your home, your business, it could be there's an offer coming towards you for that. For others of you, this could be an offer of a stable relationship. If it's playing out in the romantic realm for you. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles takes his time cultivating this offer so it's usually not a fly-by-night offer this is a very solid offer if this is a offer of a relationship this person is probably pretty serious and is looking for a long-term type of relationship if this is a person who is bringing an offer towards you of uh, employment this is a very solid offer so that's definitely good news uh, coming right off the hop, we have the Two of Wands in the reverse position, which can point back to the Ace of Wands. For some of you, this can represent going back to the drawing board. Two of Wands in the upright position is very progressive energy. This is where we have one foot in the past, one foot in the future, and we're ready to move on to the next phase, the next stage. When the card is reversed, however, this can um, sort of have that energy of going back to the drawing board with a certain situation in your life. This could be um, where you were making progress. Say, for example, in your career or your work, maybe you were moving towards something and then you realized, oh, well, okay, maybe I need to rethink this situation. For some of you, say, for example, if you were building a house and you were going from point A to point B, but then you realize, oh, I need to uh, make sure that I get this other, uh, you know, paperwork done before I can continue on. So it's that kind of energy. It's just at the early part of the week, there's something that it's like you need to rethink. And uh, moving on, we do have the energies here of Major Arcana, the Hermit in the reverse position, the Virgo card in the upright position. The Hermit sort of is very solitary energy, somebody who goes within to do some research or to rethink situations um, when or maybe, you know, if you were dealing with a Virgo, perhaps maybe that person was involved with this setback um, because the hermit is reversed. For others of you, this could just represent the the need for doing the research and, and figuring everything out is over. You're returning back to action and you're returning back to dealing with, um, uh, returning back to the land of living, <laughs> not being so solitary. You're sort of coming out of your shell and you're moving on. And towards the weekend, we have the energies here of the Queen of Cups in the upright position. The Queen of Cups is another court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is uh, water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, the Queen of Cups is very emotionally stable, very emotionally sound. This could be somebody you are dealing with. Maybe they're being extremely emotionally mature. Or this could be you embodying the energies of the uh, Queen of Cups and feeling like you're standing on strong emotional ground and this is um, a, a turning point in your emotional maturity. 
And the last card we have up here is the Libra card, the Justice card in the upright position. So you could be dealing with a, a Libra. Um, for others of you, this could represent a legal situation, perhaps that's coming to its end and uh, the verdict is positive in your favor. For others of you, this could just represent fairness and balance, returning to a situation or a uh, relationship that fell out of balance. The balance is now returning to it. So the good karma is coming around for you, a Sagittarius, at the end of the week. Now, in closing, I am going to be pulling a uh, special message just for you, Saggies, uh, from the Wisdom Oracle deck. So we'll see what your card is here, Sagittarius. What is your card? Your card is prayer. Prayer. I think that's the first time this card has ever come up. Hmm. That's your own secret special message, Sagittarius, whatever that means for you. <laughs> so that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, otherwise I will see you next week. Bye-bye.